Good evening and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Crypto, the live stream where we talk about crypto news and price action. My name is Mike. Guys, we see the market looking a little bit red today. Not too crazy in the red, but we are getting a few pullbacks throughout the market, especially some of these altcoins. You know, Arbitrum is down, coming down to lower levels. We got a little bit of a pullback on Zillicon and Jackdom and a few more. However, guys, in today's video, we're going to look at the general market. You know how we do it on the channel. We look for opportunities, whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter we want to make sure that we're prepared for any of that volatility and if you appreciate that strategy do yourself a favor subscribe to the channel and click that bell button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action actually guys if you have any projects that you want me to cover on the channel this evening let me know in the comment section below or in the, in the chat and i'll definitely pull up pull up some charts guys let's begin let's begin we got a full packed video today live stream obviously we're gonna look at the general market we'll talk about some news quick and look at what's happening and then we'll pull up some charts guys we are currently in a scenario where we might be interested in buying some dips just a bit you know I, i'm not sure if we're gonna get a short-term relief bounce to the upside or anything but what i do know is that we are slowly getting to those oversold conditions right especially on the four hour time frame the daily looks like it's trying to continue coming down for the next little while so we could maybe maybe get a smart a small Small bounce to the upside and then eventually come down to a slightly more lower levels i want to look at bitcoin obviously as an indicator we'll take a look at what bitcoin has to tell us and then we'll look at some of those altcoins let's kind of scroll through this market what is happening here bitcoin currently trying to get a level of support pretty pretty interesting price action currently at about twenty seven thousand six hundred dollars give or take we'll take a look at the charts very very soon ethereum going sideways as well uh bnb getting a little bit of relief to the upside many coins are looking very similar you know earlier on this uh morning i did release a video and the video was on magic okay magic mean a, a token that belongs to the arbitrum um a, a network layer two solution it's a gaming token which is you know the major gaming platform on arbitrum um and you know it could be really bullish especially as we see the gaming narrative heat up we might want to consider getting into some of those buy the dip opportunities as those bullish projects do heat up okay so we'll keep an eye on them obviously make sure that you subscribe click the bell so that you can get all those updates if i find any great opportunities i am going to share them with the 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 followers and on the channel and of course follow me on the telegram group guys i'm trying to you know push some alpha on there throughout the day whenever i see any opportunities that's where i'm going to be pushing them first so join feel free to join and then after that you know maybe 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 you might be feel some confidence to share some of your own setups with the community okay let's continue looking here we have solana going sideways polka dot going sideways many of these tokens going sideways and of course we have tron doing its own thing you know getting a little bit of a bounce here maybe creating that higher high scenario out of all the tokens we see tron you know looking a little strong ton coin as well looking a little interesting maybe looking for a breakout to the upside looking really bullish in fact i wouldn't mind getting a little bit of ton coin given the fact that now i'm full on into the telegram you know ecosystem and ton coin is definitely one of those tokens that are part of the telegram ecosystem and i wouldn't mind getting a bit on on board myself uh we have monero getting a nice little relief to the upside but generally speaking you can see that a lot of these tokens in the in the immediate short term are creating very very similar price patterns right so we got to be aware that the market right now is kind of following bitcoin we have arbitrum hitting those levels guys if you got my signal on telegram we are currently trying to hold critical levels of support we're going to look at arbitrum today because we did retrace quite a bit 20 percent almost in the last seven days which is a good significant pullback and maybe a good buy the dip opportunity so we'll kind of look at that one for sure arb will take a, a little bit of a um sneak peek and see what's happening quant getting a nice bounce to the upside you know quant needs to kind of show us some strength now we've been you know quant has been nice and quiet here at the bottom of the range for the next little while could we get a little bit of relief to the upside very soon you know i'm interested in quant but uh so far you know we gotta get some uh signs of life here near protocol as well coming down to those lower levels many many altcoins that we're looking at earlier on um in the last couple of weeks now we're getting those fat retracements stacks i wonder where we are there after a 20 
20% pullback, are we hitting those levels? We'll put stacks on our list as well. Guys, if you have any projects that you want me to cover this evening, let me know and I'll put them on the list and we'll definitely take a look. I'll put them in priority. What else do we have here? Anything interesting that I'm looking at? Optimism coming down just a bit. We scaled in a little early, so we're okay still. And I don't plan on buying the dips unless we get into real, real fire sales. Render um, doing its thing at about $1.70. I'm thinking that it might come down a little bit further. Okay, guys, so pay attention to render. If you missed out on the big fat render pump, there's some good opportunities perhaps to buy the dips on a nice retracement. Render, we'll take a look at render as well. And, you know, Know, kind of play out where i would be buying the dips and you know um yeah i'm taking profits i took a significant amount of profits of render so i wouldn't mind buying back my bag on the dip right so that's the thing as you take profits you kind of scale out of your positions you don't have that much exposure and if you're bullish on a project you want to get your exposure back but you want to get it back on the cheap and that's the whole idea here guys zilliqa pulling back just a bit after a nice rally pulling back 7.3 percent which is a significant pullback in the immediate short term comparison to the rest of the market but we're still kind of choppy here we're still, still kind of choppy within range so looking okay uh big get getting a nice little bounce 10 percent to the upside i like the big get and to be honest when i see um tokens exchange tokens rally this way it tells me a, it could be possible that we're seeing individuals getting onto those exchanges and buying the big get token for the mere fact that you get benefits as a holder if you use the exchange so this tells me that maybe maybe we're seeing a potential altcoin scenario build up because we know that big get is really really heavy into those low cap altcoins coins especially those dgen plays we can find a lot of them on the big get um exchange and when we see the big get token rally that means that people are buying the big get, get token and the only reason why they're buying it is because you get some good good perks as holders good evening good evening michael um uh, cqt sure no problem cqt that's the ticker we'll take a look i don't even know what that is cqt we'll take a look maybe that's a new one no problem we'll take a look i just want to look at the the general market here see caspa coming down i like caspa down 28 percent is this the opportunity let's take a look i'll put caspa on the list caspa and there's casper of course casper but i'm waiting for a, a further pullback on casper i'm compelled to even go on the second page here see what's going on if there are any good ones singularity net these ai tokens are slowly slipping down to lower levels i wouldn't mind buying the dip cava is another one that i'm interested in but i'm i have some buy orders on some of those already set at lower levels let's see if these start triggering when i start seeing those buy orders trigger that's when i'm going to be like okay now we've hit some levels some really interesting levels to you know know pay attention to right so far we're still cascading we're still coming down helium is one of those tokens that we've been talking about we talked about it on friday and we see that helium is looking like it may be gearing up for a little bit of a support level or maybe a bounce i'm, I'm really really compelled i'm really uh thinking of buying the dip especially with the fact that lately it did come down significantly and my previous buy order previous to the delisting on binance was pretty high in comparison to where it is right now and i wouldn't mind taking this opportunity to dollar cost average and drag my average position down that would be a great great thing especially if we get a nice uh bounce to the upside i might be able to at least consider taking some profits off the table if we get into a profitable scenario so um helium i might get into that just to protect my um my position just to build a position i like blur i wouldn't mind buying in magic we talked about magic today down two and a half percent the last 24 hours it was a significant dip and the trade setup is absolutely perfect we could be coming down to slightly lower levels to buy those dips and the risk to reward ratio is starting to look very healthy and yeah pay attention to that video guys go feel free to check it out it's right here we uh, released it a couple uh, hours ago and so far so good the ta is holding up pretty good uh what else do we have here anything interesting anything anything let's see Kadena, what is up with Kadena? Bottom of the band, uh, uh, sorry, the bottom of, look at this. Bottom of the range, 2.3%, overall 15% to the downside. Then you have band protocol, 17%. So a lot of these things are a lot of a lot of dips. A good ID, another one that I'm ready to dollar cost average in because I bought in at a higher levels and I, I, I took profits. I bought back a portion of my position at higher levels and I'm looking for to, to DCA very soon. I'll let you keep you posted on Telegram when I start DCAing back or, or buying a little bit more of Space ID. I think it's a great project. Especially with the fact 
fact that you know we got a good run up in the previous uh, just recently and i wouldn't mind getting in for another bounce on that price action i made some great profits and i don't mind taking a little bit of risk here wax coming to this nice consolidation period maybe looking for that breakout to the upside if you kind of chart this it may it does look like a descending wedge just visually and that's looking good when you see those descending wedges eventually they start to want to break out bullish right so that's an important one maybe we'll put that on the list wax okay let's begin by looking at bitcoin and then we'll take a look at cqt and see what that's all about bitcoin 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 so what i'm really thinking about here when i see the bitcoin chart number one i know my my charts are a bit messy but it's okay it works for me guys bear with me is that we're trying to hold support right above this gap or this weak spot in the chart this is a very very weak zone if the price action does fall below twenty seven thousand one hundred and forty dollars give or take we could see it cascade to about twenty five thousand two hundred and thirty or so give or take okay and the reason being is look left not much price action to act as support nothing there really okay so we got to be aware that right now this is what we're trying to hold up desperately now we're getting a slight bullish divergence here you can see this bullish divergence coming from here um right down to these levels we're getting a little bit of divergence here and and what would be nice to see is look at the macd's looking at a lot bullish but what i would like to see is maybe a nice class a bullish divergence right here at the bottom of the range okay that's what i really am trying to find here price action is going up which is great and maybe this is that pivot point that we're looking for okay so pay attention to this zone for me this is not a bad time to buy the dip but what i'm really looking forward to is a potential further continuation to the downside to about twenty five thousand. now that's a very bearish target for some people but for me it's not really it's still bullish even if we hit that support zone and get a bounce at twenty five thousand. you'll see a lot of the altcoins continue bleeding out we'll see a lot of the altcoins hit those targets those lower levels where we can buy the dip but what would be epic what would be epic is if we start creating a range right around this zone where you see bitcoin start getting support that's when you'll see these altcoins rally really hard and we could potentially see that altcoin season right once we see bitcoin kind of get a level of support individuals that took profit off of bitcoin up at these levels and a lot of these even meme tokens might consider getting into some of these altcoin projects and meme coin tokens as well at lower levels right and then we might see this altcoin season so i'm keeping my eyes open fingers crossed to see that bitcoin eventually does hit these levels we could buy the dip nice and hard especially on those altcoins to be honest i'm not even thinking about buying any bitcoin anymore i do have a, a uh, i did scale up quite a bit over here and i'm looking into getting to altcoins i think altcoins could do very well get into a little bit of ethereum so i can you know reduce my risk get into a little bit of blue chips large cap tokens but i'm also going to be focusing significantly on the low cap gems here on the channel because i did fill my bags on a lot of those larger cap tokens earlier on in uh during christmas and the new year um area time frame right so for me right now i want to get into something that could really give me some good x's i want to get some good x's in especially if we get those altcoin seasons happening now it doesn't mean that i'm going to bet the farm and go all in what i'm going to do is i'm just going to scatter my buy orders on some of those good um bullish tar um, projects that may have some good momentum some market cap to claim right that's what we want to do here okay so the the daily is still looking bearish emas are coming down histogram bars are deep in the red we do have these rsis still coming down to oversold territory so for me i'm still holding on i'm still holding on because i feel like this thing might want to reset to lower levels get below or just close enough to the 30 percent mark here on the daily time frame and we are still above that 200 daily which is really good but it tends to want to act like a magnet every once in a while and come down and act as some support and get a bounce off of it but the time we put potentially get to the $25,000 mark the 200 daily might be creeping up and slowly get closer and closer to the $2,500 $25,000 level and if the price action goes back up and comes back down we will have an area of confluence the bottom of the gap price action looking left the 200 daily EMA that will creep up to that level and then we may be getting some confluent confluence and then some confidence to buy the dip on some of the altcoins and including Bitcoin it might, might not be bad a good buy order at 25,000 would be healthy and of course I had, do have bear, other bearish price targets but one step at a time DCA nice and slow 25% of your capital 
as you go down is not a bad strategy guys it's very it's a very smart thing to try to try not to catch a falling knife catching the falling knife is pretty risky guys trust me i've tried before it doesn't really work out okay so what we're looking for here is class a bullish divergence if it does happen maybe getting into a pump might be um you know the ideal thing or if we do break below we're hitting that twenty five thousand dollar mark on bitcoin for now one step at a time if we keep on coming down we get to this level we see signs of weakness on the oscillators we could c come down to lower targets as well but not not let's not get ahead of ourselves one step at a time okay let's take a look at cqt what is cqt all about guys we skipped the the new segment cqt I get excited when i see charts charts are awesome of course good money making opportunity of course cqt what's going on here crypto it's on kraken pancake swap it's on kucoin covalent i heard of this randomly i like the kucoin of course based on wow sideways let's get in the daily wow nice run up come on nice run up in the, little, in the short term we're getting a little bit of run up okay it's not bad it's not bad it did create a lower low we got to be honest here what is it that's the question what's its market cap this is important i don't know much about it let's see cqt so it's ranked 300 so it shouldn't be that large we're looking at a hundred million dollar market cap so it's about mid-ish mid-ish for me for me based on my risk tolerance it's about mid okay it's not bad um okay sure what's the narrative it's a ethereum token it looks like an ethereum token <clears throat> okay kucoin gate so still on smaller exchanges kucoin is it's coming up it's coming up but still on smaller not mainstream it's not on binance or anything but kucoin is still a big one okay now what is it let's go on the website i want to get a little bit of an idea okay okay so covalent provides a unified api bringing visibility to billions of web3 data points what does that even mean uh ethereum binance polygon avax phantom okay it supports lots of blockchains but what do you mean the absolute richest blockchain data so it looks like it's blockchain data covalent vision to empower the web3 pioneers of tomorrow by providing the richest and most robust blockchain data api and infrastructure for entire blockchain ecosystem interesting stuff we know that data is very very important historical blockchain data via an open proof based protocol interesting stuff so being able to collect basically collecting data off of blockchains and i'm assuming what it's going to do is synthesize that data and present it to people in a very intelligent way to be able to process the data uh, to make um basically conclusions because that's the only thing here that's pretty good based on what i understand that's the only edge that they could have as far as providing value or some sort of um solution to a problem so that's great that would be great one-stop shop to to uh, basically look into data on all these blockchains solana you got all of them binance polygon avax phantom moonbeam so view all there's probably way more they have 60 blockchains so not bad of an idea fundamentally uh, Michael's not that's not bad honestly I don't mind and I can probably see a lot of programmers using this as a solution almost like an oracle it almost feels like it is trying to compete or be like an oracle here being able to tap into some of the data um, on these blockchains and use that data as you know insightful you know data to, to to make things happen maybe some dApps or whatever the case may be whatever you're trying to build or some utility that you're trying to build so that sounds very interesting to me the narrative is interesting i'm definitely going to highlight this one now from the market cap perspective given the fact that i like the fundamentals and this is what what's very important here is that when you have a hundred million dollar market cap where can this thing go i don't know like what's the narrative in your protocol polygon so it's going to list all the partners it's analytics yes uh infrastructure business big data so this is good it's almost like is it like a um what's it called the graph is it similar to that it could be very possible
okay very possible okay it's interesting i like the idea now from a uh, tokenomics what do we have you circulating supply so about 50 percent of it is already in circulation trading volume is okay i like the trading volume a good 10 percent of it is um in in, in in trading volume which means that you get a lot of um movement you know supply and demand ready to go if you want to sell and buy you got the the liquidity there uh fully diluted okay almost 200 million okay so it's still still not bad of a scenario here like there's still room of course lots of room for this thing to grow i, I like the idea to be honest wow thank you for bringing that up michael this is it's a good one it's a good one okay now uh let's look at charts let's see where we are could we get a deal on this thing now big picture wise yeah there is a, this thing looks good at the end of the day we, we we bottom out nice and strong okay we got a nice you know clear bottom of support i don't like that we went into a lower low scenario here based on this previous low from 2001 but we are right now 2023 and we bottomed out 2022 and yeah things change this 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 things happen right things happen no problem buddy this is looking good i like it i like the fundamentals now ta is very important here we got to understand that we are currently in the territory where we are relying on this previous bottom to be the absolute bottom this is the this is the difficult part you only have one piece of data historical data to basically evaluate whether we are going to create a higher low or a lower low and this is the dangerous part is because we could technically come down and create a lower low or at least a double bottom even a double bottom right so that's the thing look at this now we did create this low here like many other projects did we got a nice potentially bullish divergence maybe here on the weekly let's see what we got here getting the higher time frames uh, as the price action is coming down the rsi is going sideways but you can see even here the macd is not looking the greatest right it doesn't look the greatest okay so this thing could come down even further but i don't even want to look at that for now let's look at the daily for a second not even let's get into the four hour let's see what's happening here price actions coming down the rsi is stagnant at the bottom of the range as the price action is coming down so like you know it, this is the thing it could be the pivot point it's a bit risky here to consider this the absolute bottom to be honest based on what i'm seeing here we didn't even get really really that oversold so now that we're here looking at the four day you know we we are in a bullish stance on the daily for sure like we're above that 200 daily ema for me that's a big big thing but we did reset we got oversold we got oversold we got oversold and you know we're getting that lower high right now on the price action and also on the rsi so that means like to, for me it's not really really that healthy now we do have a good area of support right here it's very clear that we're getting some bounces off that 200 daily that's a good thing it's a good thing trust me but um i don't know i don't know if we want to believe in it completely is that the only thing we're going to use okay let's look at some weak spots in the charts some strengths and weaknesses obviously that's a good way to kind of uh, isolate potential moves um and i use the vpbr and you can see there's not much volume to really give us a ton of confluence right but we're going to do our best here this zone for sure this is the daily this zone i'm gonna try to be as accurate as possible boom right there that for me is a good uh looking good and then of course right about here is looking good that for me is a weak spot meaning that if we break above and i know we already did try if we break above with a little bit of volume and we finally break through we could hit um we can hit about three dollars 33 cents 33 and a half cents that would be great okay that would be a move that we're looking for now above we do have some supply and demand looking left you can see jitter 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 right around the zone but then the volume starts to taper in again right about here which we start looking at another weak zone another weak spot here in the charts that we could potentially look and it's at above the value area high the blue line in fact you can't see that it right now because I'm, i put the yellow line but it's above the value area high so we'll just kind of put it like that so that we can see the value area high as well and then of course right at the top we see that you know again the cluster of supply and demand builds right around the zone and you can see the vpvr is a little bit indented here and if you look left here on the price action you can see straight down straight up straight down and a few little wicks down here that is filling up the vpvr just a bit so really there's not much here to act as resistance or support so we do have another weak zone here in the chart that we need to be very very aware of okay so this is important now you'll notice that even if you look below there's nothing 
So we are in a good spot to potentially start dollar cost averaging. Because if you look below, it's either we create lower lows and keep on coming down, or this is the low. So this is the thing. It's a difficult one because we don't have any price action to kind of judge whether we can get support in the future. We just have this low. That's it. So you have some um, decision making to do. Um, are we going to start building a position around this area? Or are you going to make sure that you reserve some capital just in case we do come down and buy the dips? Now, what I could say is be prepared for the rsi to fully reset here on the daily to get into oversold territory we haven't been there for a while we got to overbought a couple times as you can see now what about if we eventually roll over and come down to this zone this is the fire sale this is the time where you're going to get the best opportunities to buy in out on the cheap down here now we can go check the charts and look at what happened when we got down here right we started coming down right about here and then we flatlined right about here okay now what about if we did get into oversold territory again down at the bottom of the zone at the best at the worst case scenario we double bottom and then you get an opportunity to get in here again at about 0 0.06 which is a great fire sale in comparison to where we are right now you're looking at a discount of about 50 percent give or take guys that's that's a good sale that's an opportunity to get half more right so my opinion is my opinion when i'm st stuck in this scenario just dca going in slowly we could get a bounce we could come down to lower levels you see bitcoins bleeding out just a little bit we've seen this happen throughout the altcoin market right now we're getting a little bit of that red who knows what we could what could happen in the immediate short term and come down to lower levels now as we zoom in we start getting into uh potential scenarios right here you see that we do have a little bit of a gap that could act as support right so we could come as low as at about 11 cents 11.3 cents and then be able to buy the dips and again right at about 14 cents we've attacked that level a couple of times and got a bounce off of it consolidation style right here now this could be a bull flag for continuation up very possible this is why i'm saying that i think the best bet is to buy in nice and slowly let me put some uh horizontals in this is the zone where you could probably get the best opportunity to buy right here and I'm going to put green arrows in because for me, every opportunity when we dip should be an opportunity to buy. And obviously where we are right now could be an opportunity just to buy in in general because we did zoom out and you saw we're pretty low already. Even if you zoom out, zoom out, it, we're pretty, it's pretty healthy as it is. And then you can start thinking about what about if we go back to all time highs or even forget all time highs, even just a healthy retracement, 0.55 golden pocket, what would, what would the gains look like? Okay, and that's something to consider. So down here is not bad. Even where we are right now is still not bad, okay? Um, but if we happen to come down to lower levels at about 11 and a half cents, 11.2 cents, that's where I would be looking for a good buy the dip opportunity. And then to be honest, I would stop. I wouldn't go in too heavy here because if it keeps on coming down, we're gonna probably touch the bottom or create a lower low with some strong bullish divergence, guys. That would give us that indication and break of trend, break of structure. We could potentially start dollar cost averaging at the bottom of the range. So we don't know where the bottom is until we get a confirmation low. The confirmation low could be a lower low. The confirmation low could be a double bottom. The confirmation low could be a higher low. As far as we know, anything could happen here, but we've gotta look for bullish divergence we got to look for any w or inverse head and shoulder some sort of pattern and then we can uh, get in with a little bit more confidence right so in, until that happens i would say get a little skin in the game buy the dip slowly 25 percent now 25 percent an another 25 percent buy order at these levels and if we do come down to lower levels be prepared to buy the dips at lower levels and bring your average cost down especially once you see the daily reset to oversold territory down here okay like we did in the past this is the those are usually the best times to buy in now the macd is not giving us too much of a signal other than the fact that emas are facing down the red histogram bars are still there yeah we're getting a bit of pale pink ones but waiting for those bullish crosses before you go all gung-ho about it you can see what happens we could cascade even further so let's just be careful here because if the market tends to want to continue correcting you could get a good good buy opportunity at lower levels remember 50 percent is nothing in as far as price action wise look you could come right here and you get a 50 percent discount the four hour chop zone all the way sideways we didn't even reset here on on the 
look at that barely any resets really these little wicks don't even count like we didn't even reset here either we want to go sideways for the next little while unfortunately macd is still facing up looking good maybe we could get a little bit of a bounce in the short term to the upside i feel like we need to break above that 19 cent mark before we can actually rally to these higher levels right about here okay guys so for me this is what i would do i would dollar cost average get in slowly there's no clear ice line or edge at the moment but having some skin in the game is very healthy especially when you zoom out let's zoom out quick and you can see what i mean look at this thing okay now what about if we happen to reach this target okay let's put a red arrow in so you can understand what i mean this is an absolute bullish price target let's say we get right here that would be a good good opportunity to potentially take tons of profit off the table because look where we enter and look where we take profits it's not even all-time highs forget that that's 550 percent gains guys so great opportunity to, to you know make some really good gains and even here look at that 300 percent gains okay so this is what i'm saying you're still at the bottom of the range dca a little bit at a time and you reduce your risk and and that way you're not you know betting the farm all at once it's hard to tell right here on cqt i like the fundamentals but sometimes that's not enough unfortunately okay when the market is dipping everything dips everything 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 all right no problem buddy no problem michael this is looking good thank you for bringing it to the channel it's really good one in fact i'm i'm highlighting that one i want to keep an eye on it maybe i'll buy in um what else let's take a look at casper i want to look at casper today uh in my first video this morning i um i looked at casper i'm like you know what's going on with this casper everybody talks about it and look at this thing this thing rallied up beautifully nice w's nice nice momentum to the upside and now we're respecting this trend line a couple of times we respected it in the past we came down and touched it again and got a little bit of a bounce but we're still very hot here very hot we invalidated this bearish divergence creating a higher high on the rsi which is totally fine so be it uh looking good and honestly no indication for me that we are going to come down to lower levels i think the absolute bottom currently that's being formed is the one that you know we may hold right We're, there's no bearish divergence here until i get that bearish divergence i'm not going in the only thing i can say is the macd is looking bearish look at these ema crosses with the red histogram bar it could be absolutely done last time we see these emas get to this height was back here and look what happened so could this happen again this is the height could it happen again possibly we see the rsi came from oversold territory we didn't get any bearish divergence here on the daily maybe we got it on the four hour we'll take a look in a second but we did come to over sold territory and for me that's enough of a signal to potentially take profit or if you want to enter enter a short position i would be waiting for a bearish divergence confirmation and then potentially go into a short position okay but to be honest we didn't even hit any critical levels of resistance on the charts really previous price action nothing really nothing really it's pretty much price discovery as a new token right uh, let's get into the four hour let's see what's the four hour showing us uh bearish divergence on the four hour and we talked about this the other day this is the thing we must have covered this live um bearish divergence follow through price action coming down to lower levels this is beautiful we're gonna touch it most likely touch this trend line once again for confirmation and i don't i would bet that would we would probably want to touch that 200 day, uh, 200 ema on the four hour chart right here we do have a volume gap right here that can make us come down to about 4.3 cents very possible that's a weak spot look at this weak spot here a look at that okay a little bit of a weak spot happening so we could come down and potentially tag in the uh, the ema the 200 ema here and let's see what happens this thing's looking strong a lot of people talking about casper i'm not expecting huge huge fire sales obviously the biggest weakness in this chart is down here now, if we come down here, guys, you know a lot of people will be buying the dip. I think a lot of people would be even be front running this. That's why I have a spider line here at about three and a half cents just to give me a notification because I would love to be in on that price action if it gets down to this level. But no guarantees. This is why, you know, again, DCA is great. Down here is another area to see some big, massive support zones building um, at about 4.3, 4.4 cents. That would be, you know, if we get down to there, that's not bad if you're able to get in around this zone that's not bad because after that look what you have looking left huge levels of supply and demand and the battle to get below this will be pretty big it doesn't mean that it can't happen but it will be pretty big and then if it does happen look what these lower level price targets but i'm going to be really really modest here and say the value area high here is probably an area that i'm interested in buying and i'll put a arrow in here i'll put a green arrow and 
and say you know what if it comes down i'll i'll get in with 25 percent and then come back down if we do get lower or it get any stronger signs of support inverse head and shoulders w formations and we get this r side to oversold territory here even on the four hour on the daily anything any overset then we'll start reevaluating again we're still kind of early look at this thing we're still kind of early look at this this is the daily we got here to oversold once twice three times and look at each time we got that pullback so we gotta be we gotta be, be real about the fact that the rsi itself is trending it has a trend happening and we got to respect its trend the trend is it comes up gets rejected and creates a higher low now we could come down and create that higher low once again here once twice three times and then come back up again it's very possible and get another leg up so i would wait a little bit maybe hits uh point for uh you know 4.3 cents and hit that trend line we'll get these emas down to the lower levels look at this on the daily wow looking bearish okay so let it come down i wouldn't buy be buying in heavy at the current moment let the market make its decision let's see what casper has to offer in the next couple of days and then that's when you start building a position at critical levels of support this right now so many people bought around this area they're still laughing at this price action they're in profit still no one's shaking in their boots we want a, a bit of the market to shake in their boots before we start buying the dip right we want to see people afraid of of their positions being liquidated or stop losses being hit before before we even consider thinking about buying the dip and you know when that's going to happen down at these levels where all a lot of the people bought in because we have a lot of supply and demand right here around this zone so let's see what happens let's test this area for liquidity and then we will buy the dips on the on on some of those liquidations that happen all right guys um that's my take on casper i like casper but i like playing the game i don't want to buy in on tops i like you know really really giving the market the run for their money i want to see what the what what the bulls are made out of if you're really a bull you're not going to sell if you're a short-term bull meaning that you have weak hands i'll buy those dips when it gets to that level that means that you're not supposed to be holding you're not a real bull you're here in it for short-term gains and i i would really rather hold than um you know just not buy the dip right i would rather just buy and hold this was one of the signals arbitrum let's talk about arbitrum i left the signal on the telegram group regarding arbitrum hitting a good level of support okay so i did buy the dip here at about a dollar point two which for me now as you notice what i just said okay was you look for the areas where a lot of people would have bought and believe me this is the zone right and it's very likely that we're going to come down here and test people's hands whether they're going to sell on a loss or sell at break even because you know how many people put them their their positions at break even they got into profit this is so typical right they get into profit their entries wasn't the best but they get into profit and they say you know what i'm gonna put my entries at break even so you know it's a free trade then the market comes down tests the liquidity and knocks them out okay that's what you, a lot a lot of the times that happens that's why you know putting tight stop losses is a bit dangerous you got to put strategic stop losses which for me would be here at the value area low or slightly even below it so you got to be willing to hold a position in the negatives if you're going to be a successful trader and you have to have the courage to do that the conviction is the correct word right so we do see that arbitrum did come down to these levels got a wick right off this volume gap that we identified a small little gap in the only way you're really going to see it is if you kind of exclude previous price action you can see that this little gap right here is currently acting as support level okay and if we do get here this is not a bad opportunity to buy the dip and if we do come down to even lower levels at about 1.24 uh, that would be a not a bad area either and you'll see based on the theory about supplying the man this is where a lot of people would have bought in to the to the arbitrum price right around this zone including myself including myself right look at the, the amount of volume around this area so liquidity could be tested here and be prepared to buy the dip if that happens i wouldn't mind scaling in just a little bit here even though it is higher than my previous buy order it's okay it could be a confirmation low let's look at the four hour quick because the daily is not telling me much look at that we're almost getting completely uh, reset here on the rsi getting to oversold territory and oversold territory is the time that i start to focus now there's no bullish divergence just yet no real indicators for us to make some real good moves or actionable moves here but it's definitely an area where you can decide you know what i just want to get my feet wet and dabble in just a bit maybe 20 percent, 10 percent. it's not a bad idea to dabble in that way and then just go, get in heavier as it comes down because really the point of control at about a dollar 19 is the last line pretty much we got you know down here at these levels a dollar 14 after that we're creating lower lows on arbitrum 
and that's not going to look that great right we're going to be creating lower lows and the question is how low can we go and then if we start breaking below i, I would say a dollar 20 honestly i would stop i would just stop and wait don't buy any more dips because then we're getting to a one-to-one -one. we're basically double bottoming and testing this last line of defense this last line of defense is the greatest risk to reward ratio opportunity the reason being is that you can set a stop loss with some conviction because you got lots of support here and you know how many traders are going to do that and that's where you get the short squeeze or the long squeeze right in this case many people may go long here because of the clear ice line they'll go long and then we make it that long squeeze and we might get that quick cascade to the downside so for me buy the dip buy the dip and then just wait let's see what the market how the market unfolds because this could be your last opportunity to buy in as a confirmation low higher low and that would be bullish but lower than that not so much guys not much price action after this to act as support look at this straight up okay kind of dangerous in fact okay here on arbitrum but you got to be bullish you got to be you got to be because if not uh you if you bought in already and you don't want to drag your average cost down you're going to be you're not it's going to be difficult for you to recuperate so for me whenever i buy i am always factoring in potential buy orders at lower levels that's part of my strategy because if you don't you'll get blindsided and you'll be left holding the bag look at stacks for example okay i took profits here which was great great profit profit taking opportunity these right around these zones and i took a bit right but i didn't have a large bag a very very little bag crumbs to be honest and i said to myself you know what i'd rather buy at lower levels and this was my biggest scenario buying the dip here and getting a bigger bag here at the golden pocket 618 ex uh, not extension the regular golden pocket 618 in fact we didn't re even really close the gap here on the supply and demand okay this is the zone the weak spot you can see it and we fell right through it really quickly like hardly any price action to hold it and that is why i isolate these zones as weak spots because you notice once we broke boom straight down right and a little bit of a jitter fine but we came straight down to the point that we barely filled it up now we kept on coming down now we have other gaps other zones look at these gaps right we have hor other horizontals that we got to pay attention to right this other horizontal is definitely holding up looking pretty good okay but is it gonna last hold on let this thing reset good is it gonna last i don't know i i'm not sure 786 is there we have the 886 the next area of a huge gap is down here at these lower levels i think that the break of structure which is at about 55 cents is going to be the greatest area of support and i think that now buying the dip right now is not bad but of course if we get closer to the value area low which is pretty much at the 886 retracement and at the previous low which is technically the break of structure guys that would be an absolute fire sale to buy into the, the the top of the gap is usually a place where we get do get support so at about 56 cents not bad to buy the dip and you know i have these bigger arrows there because i'm like you know that's not bad if you think about it and if we come down obviously not looking good looking left look at that no price action to act the support huge gap right here huge 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 i think the bulls are gonna you know, really want to hold this line and defend it desperately this is the line that they're going to want to really defend because if we don't we could cascade cascade down to lower levels right that's the whole that's the whole idea so um obviously you know coming down is not a bad scenario so that we can buy dips but i think we dip uh, enough now from the previous buy order which was right about here we're currently down approximately 11 percent. is that enough sure it's not bad but down here would be approximately a 20 percent sale based on the previous buy if we can get down here i wouldn't buy mind buying the dip even heavier so let's be take it easy i'm not gonna rush into any buys we bought a bit here so i have some skin in the game let's see what happens if we come down we'll buy a bit more okay um stacks looking okay let's see what the daily is looking like like we're almost reset here on the daily almost reset here on the daily look at that the rsi is coming down nice and slow and the trend line that i plotted in there is being respected beautifully um the macd beautiful continuation to the downside yeah we got a bit of pale uh, pink histogram bars but we didn't get an ema cross just yet so we gotta wait we gotta wait to see where these emas cross and see these pale pink histogram bars to the upside let's see what happens we do have the 200 daily that's slowly creeping up here this 786 looks like it's trying to hold desperately but no pattern i want to double bottom an inverse head and shoulders something bullish divergence anything on these bottoms for me to feel any conviction i have some skin in the game i'm just gonna wait that's my take on stacks i like stacks 
but um, I'm gonna wait for, uh, for a, a further dip and see what happens. What about render? Render, render, render. I like render. Render rallied so hard in this pump, but it's getting a little bit of a retracement. I took profits all on these tops everywhere here 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 and i bought back this buy order here at this low and then i just been taking profits now this is the thing i'm very adamant i'm getting by my bag back especially with the fact that now i'm net positive in this trading position but i'm not going to rush it because i want to wait for this rsi to kind of come down here we're getting this confirmation low which is slightly a lower low but even a double top it's okay because it's still bearish divergence based on this low on the rsi you can see that the price action hit the same level three times while the rsi is pretty much downward sloping okay so that for me is class a bearish divergence and really what could be happening here is eventually we create a bigger m pattern come down here to the uh, you know pattern completion zone based on maybe even harmonics create an m pattern and get down to this zone maybe and or even as low as the 886 that would be epic and then buy the dip and buy my entire bag back but for now what i'm going to be watching is the daily time frame i want this rsi to reset at least get close enough to the 30 percent mark before i consider buying my bag back right so i'm going to be waiting patiently to see what happens here um i have a spider line here for a notification that when it starts to get hot around this area i would like to see where the rsi is on the daily time frame because i still feel like it's going to come down and look at these emas look at the emas and the histogram bars here on the macd looking bearish okay so let's keep it patient it's very important that you 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 know you have patience you respect you give it time respect its its, its process and then usually we we come out on top here okay so um i think that we're okay i would still wait the four hours maybe looking for a little bit of a bounce but not we have a little bit of bullish divergence here but nothing crazy maybe a short-term bounce for a continuation down i'm not going to be rushing into anything regarding render i think render did its job and to be honest this whole cluster right here is looking like it's top heavy maybe it's done maybe it's done for a little bit of a, a decent pullback and then we'll buy the dips once again even down to about 886 that might be the the scenario okay i'll keep you posted regarding my personal trading scenario here because i'm actively actively trading render uh at the moment and i'm trying to really get my position back as best as i could and it's difficult it doesn't always happen all right let's take a look at caspa let's see what's cast but just a reminder guys if you have any projects that you want me to cover here on the channel let me know in the chat and i'll be glad to outline a plan or a strategy here on how we can make some of these gains guys this is the way we do it buy low sell high that's the only way you make gains and this is why you have to have that diligence be very very discipline as to buying red days and significant rate days not only 10 percenters you wait for a good double digit 15 percent 20 percent get in there in those dips as a swing trader they do come and this is that is your major opportunity to be holding for the next little while there's so many tokens that i want to talk about we only have a limited time cas caspa this one the retracement i like it getting some support at the golden pocket 628 as we speak this is not a bad time to potentially buy a little bit into caspa look at this great scenario great opportunity right here um do we have weak spots in the chart they do they start to build down here at lower levels but we can't deny the fact that below this zone at about 2.2 cents we do have a bit of a gap down all the way down to about 78 the 786 yes it is crypto seth it's live buddy do you have any projects that you're interested in let me know if you do and i'll put up the charts so i like caspa um caspa is good caspa is good but if we buy in here i'm just saying we don't know if the absolute bottom we do see that the four hour did reset here on the rsi so for me for me this is not a bad signal we got into oversold territory the bears couldn't bring it down even further on the sh on the four hour this could be a short-term bounce scenario right we're below the 200 daily the 200 um ema on the four hour chart which is not the greatest but so right now it's not bad this is a battle happening right here on caspa let's look at the daily quick and see what's happening here the r size are coming down okay so nothing yet be prepared for a little bit of relief of momentum it came down too hard here maybe a little bit of relief and the continuation down could happen remember that 
even if we stay above the 31% mark, it's still very likely that we at least try to get down to this area right here at about 30% before we get a little bit of a bounce. These EMAs are still facing down and the red histogram bars are now pink, ready to roll over to the upside. It could be happen, it could happen, but so far I would, my conviction is lower levels. Just be careful here on the daily lower levels for sure. Golden Pocket is a great area for a bounce, but we could come down to the 786 and get some support right around this area. Is it gonna happen? No one knows. If you don't have any skin in the game here on, on Caspa, you may consider getting in with 25% here because you never know, we could get that bounce. You never know when you wake up in the morning, you get a nice rally here, and then maybe even take profits as a confirmation high right around this area for a further continuation down, right? So this is the thing, we don't know, but we know Know that we did retrace significantly from the top the top is right about here sorry let me make a measurement right about here to about 42 40, we're about 44 percent discount here guys that's pretty decent right what kind of fire sale are you looking for now if we do come down obviously we get better sales we get greater levels of support via price action if you look at it where we are right now the next area where we actually get price action for support is at about 1.7 cents Below this, there's nothing really, I think what's really holding up the price right now is the golden pocket. Really, that and the, maybe the 50 EMA here on the daily. Nothing else. We have the 200 daily all the way down here, which, you know, as a new token, it just kind of begun. So really, could we have come down? Very, very possible here on Caspa. So I would be very patient. If you want to get a little bit of skin in the game, go slowly. Don't go all in. Wait, because it could be that we come down. I'm, I, I know I pretty feel I feel pretty confident that we could be coming down to lower levels, but it's only a game of probability, guys. I don't have any crystal balls that tell me the future. It's just about probability. All I know is that we said buy the dip here, and I'm going to follow through. I'm going to make sure that I get in with at least 20% here at this level. Um and we were tracking it right here okay we were tracking it right here on the channel we called the bearish divergence we called the follow through price action we were patient with the neckline we broke down the neckline and now we're here now we came down we did what we said it was going to do are you not going to follow through and buy the dip i am i want to make sure i have my buy order were triggered on caspa and then i'm going to come down and make sure if we do come down i have enough dry powder to, to I, at least buy another dip of 20 percent or or maybe even double up i might even double up because you want to drag down your average harder so that you get closer to your um current uh, current position right current price action wherever it is wherever it lands you want to drag it down as hard as possible as possible okay let's continue let's look at um let's go at one more token before we wrap it up this evening guys we did a great job here looking at some good opportunities let's take a look at wax i want to see what wax is saying wax is talked about here and there let's see what's look at the it's just very low cap so we're getting in a scenario where the volume is pretty low right look at that sideways 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 right now honestly I don't, I don't even like the way this looks really let's go in the daily whoa look at that okay at least we can say that we didn't create a lower a lower low which is okay which is good we did rally up here and come back down but look at this Ugh. i don't know okay if you're into wax if this is your thing just understand that it came out in 2018 okay so it's it's been out there the last bull run we rallied up and came right back down and almost came to the previous low okay almost okay look at the price action so we did create a higher low which is good so far we don't know if this is going to be the higher low or the bottom of this area right here now we are below that 200 daily right that's kind of scary we try to break above but we got rejected we didn't weren't able to hold or close any candles above the 200 daily on wax so for me um i'm looking at this as a scenario where you're getting an opportunity to accumulate now if you're bullish if you like the project its fundamentals and what it's trying to build and what it's trying to achieve this is still a great and healthy place to accumulate but i wouldn't go too heavy here because we don't know if this is going to be the actual bottom what i do see here is signs of bullish divergence okay which is healthy um price action coming down i know that was a sloppy line but nonetheless price action is coming down and the r size coming up okay let's make this a bit better 
right when the when when you see that the rsi the momentum is going in the opposite direction of the price action that tells you that this could be a pivot point it could be that the price price action does come back down test the lows again and then continues up but this is not a bad scenario to buy dips now who could say that this um is gonna come up and break previous high it could be possible but don't look at it like that let's say even if we were able to get to the golden pocket which is right about here more or less that's still 500 percent. that's still great that's still very great profit taking scenarios okay good 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 gains so of course previous highs you're talking about 900 percent, and previous highs you know up here i'm talking about up here guys you know what you, you get what i'm getting at so the thing is is that you if you zoom out or you zoom out and you look at where we are right now we're at the bottom of the range on wax so it's not a bad time to dca it's not a bad time to put in a, a bit of your capital if you're bullish and buy the dip in dollar cost average at any opportunity when you see red days we've been seeing some red in the last couple of days so this might not be the bad the worst opportunity it might be actually a great opportunity to get into some of those projects that you're absolutely bullish on did the weekly candle close let's go check bitcoin qu quick and see what it's up to uh bitcoin did close its weekly so we have to wait another um, week to see what the weekly looks like. But you can see that we are opening up the week in the in the red, a little bit of red here happening. We closed one candle. Look at that bearish encompassing engulfing candle really bearish here, guys. Like, I don't know what to tell you, but it doesn't look good for Bitcoin right like i hate to be bearer of bad news and be bearish here but this doesn't look the greatest to be honest look at that boom 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 look at this Ooh, i don't know look at that this is it looks like a reversal ready to happen okay guys so really take it easy with those buy orders especially on all coins especially put those price targets at lower levels and anticipate hitting them so again get to those lower levels let's look at radix for example Let's take a look at Radix. Radix ran up so hard. Let's get on the daily. And if you think about it now, look at the pullback. Okay, the daily. Look at the pullback. It came down, down, down here. Now, I think this could be a dead cat bounce for a continuation to the downside. We could see Radix right down at the bottom of the range. Once again, hitting about 5.4 cents. Okay, great scenarios. Okay, great scenarios to buy the div. Now, let's get into lower time frames quick. See what's happening here. Look at that. This thing didn't even reset. And if Bitcoin continues coming down and with that bearishness that we can see there, it, who's to say we can't get down to these lower levels once again and buy, buy dips at fire sales? Wow. I've been looking at so many tokens lately. And what about Viot? Quick, look at this thing. This is the four hour. We got rejected. Confirmation. Look at that. Horribly. We had this trend line in a while back. Okay. One, two, three touches. We broke below. Now we got a little bit of a bounce here at the value at the at the volume gap, right where the beginning of the weakness of the chart is. Right? We got some support. We bounced. Now we're getting rejected. Guys, this is starting to look really bearish. Look at the EMAs. Look at the EMAs in the MACD. Is this gonna roll over? Like if it does, it's not looking good, but we didn't get anything here yet. We're not getting a cross on the EMA, so let's hang tight here and look at this thing. Now, could we could get a confirmation low? Could we come down, create a higher low on the RSI while we get lower lows on the price action, creating a bullish divergence, class A bullish divergence? Guys, that would be absolutely bullish. Getting some bullish divergence right here at the bottom of this gap. Fall right through, let's do it, and create a nice bullish divergence. We'll buy the dips at lower levels. Looking, that's why I have a spider line there. I wanna get into buy up. For sure i want to start dcing as we come down 20 percent of the time i bought a bit here buy a bit more here and then i might amalgamate these two buy orders into one solid buy order right around this range especially once i see the daily oscillators a daily momentum oscillator such as the macd and the rsi fully reset some good stuff here on these price action i i don't mind buying dips i know i'm a bull i'm always bullish always thinking the market's gonna run but the only way i can do that is once i get my buy orders in once I get my fire sales in, once I get all my bags packed, then I'm going to start to say, you know what, let's go. But just yet, you know, I still feel I got enough dry powder to, you know, really accumulate a bit more at lower levels. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by. If you haven't yet, support the channel, slap the like button. I got lots of socials in the description below that you can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and of course that Telegram group, guys. I'm trying to build that. I'm trying to post as much as I can during the day whenever I find trade setups. In fact, feel free to, you know, 
enlightened. Share some of those setups that you find, and that would be a great way to meet people and build a community. And of course, guys, join me live at 7.30 Eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action. Take care, guys. Have a good one. And don't forget, buy the dip.